Well, there's one local Babe Ruth baseball team still going, and they're going pretty far. The Horsehead's 13-year-olds are taking their game to Eastern Regionals in Niskayuna, and they don't want to stop there. Horseheads opens up tomorrow at 8 a.m. and will play Southern New Jersey in the first round. And if they do keep winning, oh yeah, they could go to the Babe Ruth World Series all the way in North Dakota. This team, flat out good. They won districts and the Western New York State Championship, but they want more to be great. We've done pretty good overall, but we've had good pitching and good defense, and we hit the crap out of the ball. I, I never thought we would really get this far. I didn't really know a lot about it, but it's really, it's really cool that we're almost in the World Series. Good group of kids. Um, they're all real close knit. You know, um, they love to have fun, and they really don't let the moment get to them. You know, it's 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 amazing. All right, well, best of luck to the guys on their journey. Cornell Lacrosse finished just short of making the national championship in the Final Four this year. But for some of the greats of the program, they're helping build the future. Tewartan winners Max Sebo and Rob Pennell are at Cornell Lacrosse Camp right now in Ithaca all week long to help some of the stars of tomorrow. Of course, both Max and Rob are now playing in the pros, but coming back to Ithaca and spreading the knowledge never gets old. We've been basically on tour all summer coaching and working together um, and spending a, a lot of time together. Um, so it's j just an awesome opportunity to continue to do that back here at, at Cornell. To be up here with Max and to be able to give back to these kids and give back to Cornell and to Cornell Lacrosse, a program that has done so much for the both of us, is just a great opportunity. All right, well, no love for Syracuse football in the ACC. Some online betting sets have the odds not good and winning the conference in season number one. Try 66 to one. Only Boston College, Duke, and Wake Forest have tougher odds. All are 100 to one. Florida State, the best at five to two. The Orange kick off the season August 31st at MetLife Stadium versus Penn State. To some basketball, after going undrafted and playing in both NBA summer leagues, Syracuse alum James Sutherland hoping to get an invite with the Philadelphia Sixers to their camp. The 6'8 forward played some solid ball at Cuse is looking forward to the next big thing. Well, the Cheese at 355 at the Glen is next Sunday, and big guests are on tap. Last year's Grand Marshal MLB Gold Glover and Horseheads native Kurt Manwaring, along with former boxing heavyweight champ Michael Moore, going to be in the house. Plus, country singer Tim Duggar. Don't forget, our Thunder at the Glen show kicks it all off on Friday, August 9th at 7, right here. Uh, WENYHD. So we're all excited about mm -hmm. that. And, uh, you know, we got things all week.